Hey everyone, it's Big Smoons with a Platinum Review, where I talk about the games that I have the Platinum Trophy or 100% on and what it took to get there. I also review the games based on the amount of fun I had. A picture's worth a thousand words. Let's see if this black, white, and gray adventure is worth the same. Let's get started. Toem is a walking photography game with some light puzzles. It was developed by Something We Made Studios and released in September 2021. It was recently released as one of the monthly PlayStation Plus games included in the subscription. There is also a free DLC that recently released that includes more trophies. Toem starts off with our little character waking up and speaking to his Nana. She gives him a camera and tells him about Toem. This event is similar to the real life Aurora Borealis. Our character begins his journey just outside of the house. The major adversary of this game is the bus stop man. He requires you to fill your book with stamps before he'll take you to the next area and ultimately the location of Toem. It seems like he could just take you straight there, but he hands you a stamp book and tells you to get to work. So let's get to collecting those stamps. We start our adventure to the mountaintop in Homelanda. Once you have your camera, don't be afraid to start snapping photos, like one of your lovely Nana. And once outside, snap one of the house. After all, there's no place like home. Take some photos of the local wildlife. This area is only a single screen, and there are still plenty of things to snap pictures of. This is indicative of the entire game. Every new screen is littered with new things to do and photograph. In every new area, you're going to want to collect as many stamps as possible. There is some required backtracking, so don't worry if you don't get them all in one go. Speaking of tracking through these areas, there are six areas not including the DLC. We've already talked about Homelanda, so let's briefly discuss the rest. There's Oakleville, the forest town, Stanham, the port and beach area, Lodge City, the bustling city, Kiruberg, the snowy area, and finally, ending up at the mountaintop. When you arrive in each area, you should check out your photo album. It will tell you exactly what creatures are there, and you need to be on the lookout for them to fill this section of the album. None of them are particularly difficult to find, so just snap them as you go. If you are missing some by the end, there are guides online that will help you locate them. The challenges are all easy enough to complete, and all revolve around using your camera. Need to herd together some goats? Point your camera at them until they run off back to where they belong. Set up a tripod to capture photos of cryptic creatures. Take a photo of a mysterious subject on each stage to gain access to a secret area to discover the truth about the man. There are some photo challenges that may stump you, but ultimately, most of them are not difficult to decipher. You will unlock new items to wear as you progress. Most of these have no real function, but you are required to wear some to get through the game. You'll need to wear the reporter hat to access the fashion show, and you'll need to wear a diver helmet to survive underwater. You can dress your character up any way you choose by the end, though. The best option is, of course, this hot dog hat. I give Toem a 6 out of 10 for fun. It's a short jaunt through an interesting world. There's not much in the way of story. Your Nana just wants you to head to a mountaintop and see an amazing phenomenon. I won't spoil it here, but it's even more interesting considering the world. If you have some free time, or need a break from more intense games, then Toa might be exactly what you need. Let's talk trophies. There are 38 trophies here with the Platinum and an additional 11 if you want to work to complete Basto. There are seven story-related trophies and one trophy guaranteed to unlock for walking around. In prior versions, this had to be done while wearing the clogs. I did wear the clogs when I got it, but most sources say that it's no longer the case. This is great news because the clogs bring your speed down to about half. A large majority of the trophies will come as you complete all the quests in the game. At the completion of some quests, you will see sparkles appear around the subject. This is your cue to snap a photo for a trophy. The quests of the game are associated with the stamps, so you'll always be able to see exactly what you're missing. 
Some of them may give you a hard time, such as the photo challenges. These can give you fairly vague requirements, such as the one for five living things, but there are no hard challenges. There are plenty of guides and walkthroughs online if you're struggling to collect a particular stamp. I will say the best way to tackle the game's trophy list is to do everything you can in each area before you move on to the next. This will help with backtracking and late game grinding to collect photos that you could have taken earlier. This is especially true of the trophy for taking a photograph of all the animals. There are more than 50 of these, so anytime you see an animal you don't have, snap a photo. The photo album really helps with tracking down the animals you are missing, as it'll give you their name and the map they can be found in. You'll have to locate the exact screen that they're on, but at least you won't be left guessing what animal you're missing. There is a trophy for wearing all the equipable items at least once. You should be on the lookout for this one because there's a point in the game where you'll get a hat that you're going to trade away. Wear it before turning it in. If you've already turned it in though, don't fret. You can ask her to trade back and put it on. My favorite trophies are the miscellaneous ones. There's one for filling the picture on the wall with your own photo as employee of the month. One for petting one of the pet animals. One for finding a hidden photo of the developers. And one for watching a snail complete a race. All of these are in good fun and the comedy is well done. If you have a couple days to spare, all the trophies can be swept up fairly quickly. This type of game isn't for everyone. But if you find yourself enjoying the aesthetics and premise of Toem, then I recommend you get that Platinum. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you all are enjoying the holiday season. I wish I had an endless supply of time to turn out more videos, but thanks to everyone who's patient and watches the videos when they do release. Be good to yourselves.